Hello everyone, welcome back to another Piston Cup Productions video and now, as you expected, we got the whale car wash from Cars on the Road and I am really excited. I mean, when I found this at Target, there was only two of them in stock, so I'm assuming they come in cases of two and um, when I first asked the Target employee when these were going to come out, they had told me July 31st or August 1st, but I ended up finding this on July 26, if I'm not mistaken, so a few days early, so... It was just great. I mean, I was excited. I was like a little shaky when I found out. I was like, oh my goodness. And even when I bought it, I was still in disbelief that it was even in the system. I thought they weren't going to let me buy it and there was going to be some sort of temporary hold until August 1st. But the merch is out there and a lot of people have been finding it. So let's go ahead and unbox it, run some vehicles through it, and get to washing some cars. Yeah, so this is a really big item. Uh, you can think of this as a playset or a display piece. I'm thinking of it as both, and it's gonna look really nice in my collection, but looking at the packaging, background seems to be just a bunch of trees, and I'm assuming that's where this car wash is gonna be in the show. I'm thinking it's among the first few episodes because this is probably on the way to the salt flats or to the dino park, wherever it is that they're gonna be going in the show uh let's see here so there's a color changer logo up there of course it comes with a lightning mcqueen color changer he changes from yellow to red kind of like the cars 3 lightning mcqueen color changer which we'll get to compare as well later on in the video it says well car wash on the bottom and this does retail for 25 dollars us dollars and when you grab this little guy right here his little forklifts do move up and down and it sort of just tilts the car rocks it side to side or up and down i should say and there's these little connectors right here which i'm assuming that they have some ramps underneath the packaging there's your barcode three plus from mattel on the back here is where it looks really nice with this complete red look that matches sort of like the uh 2022 diecast collection cars on the road logo looks very nice dry off and go and you got lightning mcqueen in yellow and over here in red Fuel up, help pity guide vehicles. He doesn't have a name, so it's just a generic pity. Dunk for color change. Made in Vietnam, okay. And this whole packaging trim on the bottom has like a sort of map of the United States, which looks really, really cool. The die cast, or not die cast, the color changer has that little background as well, I should mention. And it looks really cool overall. Logo as well has that little background. So anywho, let's go ahead and start unboxing this. There's an easy open tab down here. Let's see how easy it really is to open this. Okay, so we got a bunch of little accessories down here, including a little pamphlet with instructions. And for some reason, it shows the Cars 1 Thailand Lightning McQueen with the paint job of the Cars on the Road Lightning McQueen. That looks really weird, <laughs> but surreal. And here you have the actual model that's included. This is very nice. It would be nice if it showed other products coming soon like the dino playset and stuff like that but it's really nice to see all of this in color your contents instructions on the back there's assembly that should be pretty self-explanatory yeah before you begin please note overfilling may cause leakage to avoid burns do not use water that is too hot for best performance of color feature, please use icy water. Change water frequently to maintain optimal blah, blah, blah. Do not microwave hot water. Water toys get messy, blah, blah, blah. Pretty basic stuff. Okay, let's see over here. How to play with the vehicles. Run them up, put them on the car wash. You push this button and the water sprays down. That's really cool. I like this concept a lot more than the Dynaco car wash because the Dynaco car wash, it had like a sort of like pump that you had to squeeze which was a dinoco dinosaur and that worked all right but i like the whole idea of this button even more to spray down like an actual car wash so here's one ramp and here is the other and they do have different connectors now because before they were a lot thicker tracks were a lot bulkier as well and the connectors themselves were you know a lot chunkier so cars in the road now has these thinner connectors for these story sets so at first it was just story sets but i guess over time it just sort of became the universal uh system for cars play sets to connect to each other they sort of forgot about the whole story sets name 
but it's still cool to see that there's a way to connect all these sets but this won't connect to the precision series because these are new current uh, connectors these aren't gonna fit unless they include adapters which they didn't which is a bit of a shame but I'm a little curious why they changed the adapters and not explain why in the pamphlet or in the instructions or there's no explanation so there's three little tabs down here that you twist okay we got our car wash now we get a better look at that background that really looks nice it makes me want to keep the box and i probably will so now let's actually unbox the color changer of lightning mcqueen Just without damaging the box too much and the background let's see what i can do here Okay, not bad that wasn't too bad at all and this was originally supposed to appear in cars one there's some concept art of this and it is inspired off of a real life location in the united states which is really cool so i do like how they're bringing in real life locations to this cars on the road series and i really like how this little tray right here has ice cubes molded on there that looks really nice it is removable but i'm just gonna leave them on there you got your little pity right there pretty generic doesn't mean anything i'm assuming and of course you got your little button right there and then these connectors go on both ends so you've got the dryer connector that goes right here and then of course you've got your flows v8 cafe sort of pump on the other end very nice so essentially before we take it out into play with water you basically roll them up through here, make sure this is in place, roll up, fuel up if you would need to, go up, you go like that, you stop right there, push the button, water's gonna fall down and change its color, push them that way, and once he reaches the end, yeah, he does that. He falls out and dries off with these little things right here, which I don't know if they will dry off the best, but it looks really cool from this angle as we saw in the instructions. He sort of just sits there, comes along. Yeah, that looks a lot cooler. It just falls right on through, dries up a little bit, and that's essentially it. Now, looking at this color changer, Lightning McQueen, uh, again, we will compare it to the Cars 3 color changer, red to yellow McQueen, and the other cars on the road, Lightning McQueen color changer, that changes from red to blue. But this one is quite nice as well. The yellow blends in a lot with the solid yellow color. So you just get like hints of red in the lightning bolt. It's a little different. This is a sticker. It says RS on the road. This is Lightning McQueen's new paint job for the show. At least he kept his classic wheels. And this is made in Vietnam. And at the back he has his little 95 right there. And there's nothing on the top either. So here's your first comparison, Cars on the Road on the left and Cars 3 on the right. Shades of yellow, pretty spot on. It's the exact same shade from what I can see. It's crazy to see how there's no rusties on this new Lightning McQueen. It's just Radiator Springs themed and his classic Bolt and 95. It really makes you think, is this just a temporary paint job or has he officially retired and this is just his new look? That's gonna make the men cry i can tell you that i'm gonna tear up just thinking about it if this is his retired paint job that's just really sad he doesn't even have his flames anymore it's just a bolt wow i mean 16 years of this franchise and yeah this is wow it makes me emotional no more rusty's logos anywhere 95 that used to be down here is now up in the corner yeah not a single spot of rusties on this guy and only 95s on his sides no 95 at the top i really hope it's just a temporary sort of electronic suit or paint job because this is the iconic look i mean he doesn't even have his lucky bolts on the side ah <sighs> i'm getting old <laughs> i grew up with this franchise and to see him change from something like this that is so iconic to this it's so sad i mean he was a hot shot and now he's like this retired I mean, we don't know yet. The show's not out yet, but you know, it's crazy to think about. The set can also be used in the opposite direction. It's not stuck to just go one way. So you can put up a car like that, bring it to the center, splash it and what have you. And it'll still go down. 
and that was the way the Dynaco car wash used to work where you'd come in from this side and come out through here but now with this whale car wash you come in through here and come out through there and with the Dynaco car wash when you would come in through this side the pity was facing the same way as the vehicle coming in but now it's vice versa so it works either way and I guess the car wash from Dynaco also works the same but I believe the Dynaco car wash had a notch on one side preventing it from being used both ways. I don't exactly remember, but it's good to see that this is sort of a universal. And a little detail I like about this guy is when you actually come into a real car wash, you'll have like a, a guy guiding you to come in, lifting his hands, come in like this. They guide you with their hands or like an airplane with the, when they guide you with like the sticks, those glowing sticks. I have no idea what they're called. I should have asked my dad because he worked at an airport at some point. But that's essentially what this little guy's doing. He's like lifting his hands to like guide you to come in. I really like that little detail. So the last time I had a color changer's playset in my room, I made a huge mess. So to not risk that this time, I've just straight up come to the bathroom. So on the instructions, it says to put hot water so it can change from red to yellow. Thing is, in the packaging, he already came in yellow. So what am I gonna do? Instead of putting the cold water in that one, I'm gonna put it in here and the hot water in here instead over there. And I'm going to pour the cold water, that way I can see him change into red for the first time. And then after that we can switch it and do our own thing. But yeah, we're going to do it a little bit different since he's already on this different color that you're not supposed to supposedly see, but yeah, that's how he came in the packaging. Anywho, orange tray right here, ice cold water. Let's see how this goes. All right, that should be good. Drag that on down there. And when this comes over here, since there is holes inside of the base, it'll just come straight down into this little cartridge. This one doesn't have a hole for the cartridge. So let's put hot water on here in case we want to change them to yellow. Fill this up. All right, it is completely filled to the brim. There you go. And now you just press the button and watch the magic happen. I wanna really catch this for the first time, so let's see how good this goes. Three, two, one. Oh, that is so sick. <laughs> okay, this is definitely my favorite color changer playset by far. That, that works really well. It's so cool. I'm having too much fun with this. It's like a real car wash. I like this a lot. Yeah, this is one of my favorites, easily. And now, watch him come out through this side. Color change. And there you have it. He is now in his red livery. It didn't really get the back or the corner there, but for the most part, I now get to look at this brand new paint job in its original red, which looks fantastic. And of course I could just dunk it in the cold water right here to really see what it's like. Completely red. And there we go. He is now completely back in red. This looks awesome. Now I'm more excited for this paint job because it looked a little off in yellow, but here in red, it looks a lot better now. So now we get to try out other color changers like Cruise and Mater. I, I think Mater might be able to fit in there and the blue color changer McQueen. So let's just change them to yellow one more time and see how well this can change back instantly. There you go, fantastic. All right, so let's get on to the other color changers and see how well they do on the track. All right, so let's try on the cars on the road cruise first. Move it on right here, spray down. It should change to red, as you can see. Now let's bring over this Lightning McQueen from the same collection. And it magically changes if he comes out to purple. And then Mater, being the absolute Chad that he is, 
he's gonna change into his normal brown. So you bring him up here, he does fit in there. Let me put in a little bit more of some ice water. All right, you press down on this button and he should change into brown. So there you have it, there is the review on the car wash. And of course, there are the two Lightning McQueens that you can get. My personal favorite being this one because he actually does change into red, unlike this one that changes from blue to purple, which is kind of weird. But anywho, let me know if you will be getting the car wash. Piston Cup Productions signing out, and I will see you guys next time.